You guys are back in the old school. Hey guys, I'm the Retro Reject, and it has been a long time since I've seen you guys face to face, or screen to screen in this case. And uh, before you say anything, I am still working on the SHS Squad episode. And for since you guys have been waiting for so long, it is going to be a two-parter. And then right after that is going to be a Titanosaurus Mechagodzilla adventure, because it has been six months since I've made one of those, and that is not okay to keep you guys waiting for this long, especially considering how much you guys love those little guys. But as for today, I want to talk a little bit about Hell of a Boss, because they have gone a long way, way since my re episode 3 review of that show, making vast improvements, turning this from an originally very comedic series to more of a drama with comedic elements into it, focusing on the relationship between Blitz, Stolas, and as well as focusing on Stolas' family life. And like everyone else, I was just as surprised with the bombshells they threw into the Season 2 premiere. Now, as everyone was cheering for Stolas standing up against his very abusive wife, there was one question that just kept running through my mind. Why exactly did Stella stay with Stolas for so long? I mean, she clearly hates him, and you would think with all the trash talk she throws at him, either off-screen or from what we've actually seen, you would think she would just leave him or be the one more insistent on the divorce. But no, even when Stolas brings up the mention of wanting to get a divorce, it enrages her. And it just doesn't make sense to me. Why would she want to stay around with somebody she clearly hates? And of course, most of you are going to probably say the biggest reason is... I like tormenting you. I want to keep reminding you of what you did. And, okay, yeah, that's probably one of the biggest reasons, but if you look more into the context of that scene, I think she's saying that it's more so she's wanting to torment him about the cheating rather than every single problem she has with him. So then, what exactly is the reason, Retro Reject? Well, reaction to me pertaining to the audience, if you will zip your mouth, I will explain it to you. Because... I have a theory that will explain why Stella stayed with Stolas, and as well as what her plan for the future might be. And what I'm about to reveal, it just may surprise a bit of you. Okay, before I explain my theory, let's address the elephant in the room and get it out. Yay! The Retro Reject. It's on my side! I most certainly am not. Then that means he's on my side! No, Stolas, I'm not on your side either. I'm on nobody's side! Flame Wars are for immature children, and I will not stoop to your level. Personally, neither Stella nor Stolas are completely in the right to do what they do, in my own opinion. And yes, Stella is the worst of the two for both being very ver verbally and physically abusive against her husband. But that doesn't justify Stolas' actions of cheating on his own wife with Blitz. It's because they already have a kid together, which is Octavia, and that is just not a cool situation to put your child through. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get on with actually explaining this theory. And just with a little backstory for those of you who have not seen, seen the Season 2 premiere yet, it's revealed that Stolas was put into an arranged marriage with Stella by his father, and he's had to put up with years of Stella talking bad about him, either behind his back or with him just flat out noticing. Uh, he eventually cheats on Stella with Blitz, she eventually finds out, becomes more abusive towards Stolas, and even attempts to hire an assassin to kill him, and it eventually reaches a boiling point with this scene, when Stolas essentially demands Stella to get a divorce with him, and as I mentioned before, this enrages her, and she attempts to backhand Stolas, but he catches her hand, and once again demands her to leave and get the divorce, and she reluctantly agrees. 
Now, the key moment within this that got my mind thinking about this theory is what Stella says to Stolas before she attempts to backhand him. We are getting the divorce! How dare you! What do you think the rest of the Goetia family will think? And Drell for I don't care what your arrogant brother thinks. And the only thing the Goetia family wanted from our marriage is already 17, so it's over. I'm done. Now, for those of you who don't know who Adrealfis is, which is kind of understandable because you would have to keep up with Vizzy Pop's social media since she is the creator of, of Hell of a Boss, Adrealfis is Stella's brother, making Stolas his brother, brother-in-law. And I see, and in his bio, it explains that he is, is also very good at astronomy, and Stolas, he, his job essentially is that he's supposed to study in the human world the stars and the constellations and all that other stuff within outer space. And a lot of people speculate that what Stella's plan is is that if the assassination attempt on Stolas actually goes through, it would mean that Adrealfis gets Stolas's job and she still can have her status of being part of the Goetia family. But if you really think about this, there's a lot of problems with this theory. You see, the biggest problem I have with that is, why didn't she do this sooner? I mean, if she, her plan was to help her brother out, she could have hired an assassin earlier and just got this over with. But the thing is, I think she's wanting to keep the status she still has now. Because before mentioning her brother, remember, she does mention how the other Goetias will perceive her and Stolas. It's because I think it is very safe to say that she is very narcissistic. She's wanting to keep the status that she has of being married to the person in charge of all the Goetias. And if Adrealfis becomes the next one in charge, even though she technically is a part of the same family, She's not going to have that same status, unless her plan is to marry her brother. <laughs> but that does not address a very glaring roadblock in that plan, and that is Octavia. And even though I'm not a big expert on how the passing of royalty works, and technically since this takes place in hell, literally anything can go, but I'm pretty sure having an official offspring to the rulers of a kingdom is more valuable to having them take over rather than just have some random in-law come in to take over. Now, unless Stella is more evil than we originally thought, which could be possible at this point, I just can't see Stella wanting to kill her own daughter. And even if so, it runs into the same problem as earlier. Why didn't she do this sooner? Because she could have just asked an assassin to kill both, both Stolas and Octavia, and the only assassin we know so far is, who is out to get, get Stolas is Stryker, but he's only out in it for Stolas, not Octavia. So I sincerely don't believe that Stella's plan is to get Adrealfis into Stolas' job title. So I had to take a step back. And it made me consider this. Does Stella consider Adrealfis an ally or a threat? Now, we don't have a lot to go off of, because we only have one post that gives just basic details about who he is, and then one name drop through Stella, which is very minimal, and then one line through Stola saying that he's arrogant, which essentially means that he thinks he's the best thing since sliced bread. So if we are to believe Stolas' description of Adrealfis, it gives us a glimpse to who he really is. But if you also watch Stella's reaction, it gives us a big hint to how she really feels about her brother. So it's over. I'm done. Fine. I have no desire to stay in the place of a traitorous embarrassment. You have fallen from what little grace you had, and I know you'll pay for it. 
She doesn't continue the argument. She doesn't even try to defend her brother when Stolas calls him arrogant. And she doesn't even state his name in that ending sequence when telling Stolas that he will pay for what he's done. So, I think it implies that Stella thinks Adrealfis is the real threat in this situation. Because even though it doesn't take a lot to set her off, really, she only gets mad when how she is perceived by others is on the line. So you could imagine the field day Adrealfis would have if word got out that both Stella and Stolas had a divorce. He would chatter up a storm with all the other Goetias, making him seem like he's the better person and the better sibling within his own family, and pushing his sister continuously off to the sidelines and making her, her look like the bad person in this situation. And that's what I think speaks volumes to what created Stella to become the person she is now. Now, it seems to me that Stella wasn't always like this, according to Octavia, but we will get to that in a little bit. But if Stella had to grow up in an environment for many years having to constantly deal with her brother's negative comments and criticisms about her, that can get to somebody emotionally. And Stella essentially was like, well, two can play this game and she adopted her brother's own personality of being arrogant, constantly having to push somebody else down to make her seem like the better person, or just the better offspring in her family's mind. And she was already doing this at a very young age, according to the picture that Stolas' father showed Stolas. Congratulations, isn't she charming? <laughs> oh, that's an ugly noise, son. And it kind of also implies that she's just so crazy all the time that that's the only decent picture they could get of her. And just over the many years of adopting this personality, it essentially became her personality like of being this narcissistic person to make and making her seem like she's the better person. And now instead of doing it to her brother, she's doing it to Stolas. It's essentially her coping mechanism. Despite her being put into this arranged marriage with somebody she is not happy being with, and when her brother most likely has more freedoms than her at the moment, she gets to constantly boost her image uncontested with the other Goishas, and she gets to do it against a person who didn't have the guts to fight back. Now, there is a bit more evidence that does imply that Stella doesn't have a positive view of her brother, and that is with the not-divorce party, which is their version of an anniversary party, because considering how much she hates Stolas. And also, keep this in mind, she is the one who set all of this up. In the newspaper headline that Stolas reads, it says, Couples Only, and... I mean, yeah, it does make sense. I mean, it's an, it's supposed to be an anniversary party. You would only bring couples to this kind of event. But it does seem rather odd to me that when you actually see the party, you don't see a Drailfist anywhere, which is kind of odd because you would think on something like an anniversary, you would bring a family to this event. Unless putting the couples only on that news headline was Stella's subtle way of making sure Adrealfis didn't show up to this party to constantly belittle her at her own event. And even if Adrealfis was there and he happens to have a wife, it gives even more reason to why Stella would not help out Adrealfis in this kind of circumstance. Because if the assassination of Tent pulls through on Stolis, then technically Adrealfis' wife would take the position that Stella has now, and Stella is not the kind of person who would just let that happen. Also, to not mention the fact that what is there to be gained with Adrealfis having Stolas killed? I mean, a more effective method would, would be to have somebody kidnap him and hold him for ransom. And, I mean, hey... 
he could have hired those imps in Lululand to kidnap Stolas because those imps were definitely more focused on having him kidnapped rather than having him killed. Then why is she doing all this? And what exactly is her plan? Well, it's very simple and it's quite logical when you really think about it. The reason why she's doing this is for Octavia. And I know some of you may be a little skeptical about this because it doesn't seem that Stella does really care, doesn't really care about Octavia, but hear me out. Because I think to some degree, Stella does genuinely care about Octavia. Because the whole reason why Stella and Stolas were put into this arranged marriage was because they needed to create a precautionary heir to the Goetia throne. And they succeeded. And, and that was with Octavia. I mean, if Stella didn't care about Octavia, she could have just left the very moment she was born, or she could have divorced Stolas the very moment it was done. And if you really wanted to go extreme, she could have just hired somebody to assassinate Octavia, because she knows very well that Octavia is the only person that Stolas cares more genuinely about than Blitz. And that would be a heartbreaking thing for him to know that his daughter got assassinated by somebody. But no, she doesn't do that. And according to Octavia, she does remember having happy memories with both her parents, and as well as the fact that she goes with her mother on weekends to escape the palace, and remember, this is before the divorce, so she's not being forced to do this. Though, we can only take Octavia's experiences with so much of a grain of salt, because even though I do believe children are very smart to realize when their parents are not in a happy relationship with one another, if the parents are able to hide it well enough, the child could be completely oblivious to it. And even as much as I love Octavia, I think she falls more into that category. Because even as a teenager, she's completely oblivious to her parents when she's jamming out to the music in her earbuds, when her mom is on the phone with her hired assassin tasked to kill her father. Also, we don't know the full circumstances of the weekend situation. Because we don't know if Stella is making Octavia leave the palace, or if Octavia is wanting to go along with her mother. Um, but I think it is the latter rather than the former, because she has expressed how unhappy she is with her father cheating on her mother with Blitz. Right? And she's just wanting to get away from this whole situation that's transpiring in front of her. And Stella is okay with it, with her coming along, because it doesn't seem like Octavia has really any friends to hang out with. But don't be mistaken, she is not doing this to be a loving parent. And because even though I wish we get to see more of how Octavia and Stella interact with one another, and I hope there is some genuine connection between the two of them, Really, the only interaction we've seen so far is when Octavia was young, younger, she had a nightmare, and she calls out for both her parents, parents who are currently sleeping, but Stella basically just flat out tells Stolas to go deal with her while she's hogging all the covers. Yeah, so she ain't win winning any parenting awards there. What I think is really going on here is that Stella is using Octavia and trying to make up for lost time in order to gain her trust. Making it seem like that she's the only good person in this situation to her daughter and making it seem like that her father is the bad one doing all these crazy shenanigans and wanting to be with Blitz. And she was waiting for Stolas to demand for the divorce because now she can use Stolas's words against Octavia, making it seem like that she was the one who wanted to keep this relationship going, but no, her father is the one who wanted to call this, this off. 
and knowing how Octavia feels about her father, that would just be heartbreaking for her to know that. And the only person she can turn to then is her mother. So if something were to happen to Stolas, Octavia could care less. And in the moment, she's only 17, and it's kind of unclear if she would be able to rule by herself. But if not, she would have to count on her mother's advice with having to rule over the Goetia family. In a sense, Stella would be the one calling the shots and be the sole ruler over her new empire. And what a perfect way to get back at the man you were forced to be in arranged marriage with. Using their own daughter, who is the only person he had a genuine connection for and is the reason why he stayed in this relationship, and using her against him. And as well as being the perfect payback against your brother, or being the sole ruler, because nothing he can say can top that. So that is my theory of why Stella stayed with Stolas for so long, and as well as what I think her plan for the future is. And if she is able to pull this off, it would be the greatest power move within this show. And with what I've said about her backstory, does this remake her a redeemable character? it just depends on how you look at it but even though in my eyes it may not make her a redeemable a redeemable character it would mean that she would be a great villain and as well as a hell of a boss and I mean for Pete's sake I, I mean I didn't buy a Stella pin for nothing anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this video and please, let me know what you guys think of my theory, and as well as my own interpretation of Stella's character. Just, just please, 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 I am begging you, do not start a flame war in the comments. Uh, but anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, whatever the heck you want to do, and maybe hit that little bell icon to get notified when the old school is back in session. But until next time, the old school is out!